all problems are back. Roll intro. So the problem is back. Off-road mode goes haywire as soon as I use it and uh, ride on gravel. I went on a TET trip last uh, weekend with my brother and uh, just after a few meters uh, after setting the bike in off-road mode, turning the uh, traction control off and everything, it just goes haywire. Everything of info on the dash disappears on the display. I can show you some pictures of that. Um, I contacted my dealership the same weekend and I sent these pictures over with an email that explained what really happens. And uh, they took uh, contact with me this week and said that they want, uh, want me to drop off the bike. And I'm going to have the bike for uh, two or three days to just to take a proper look at it. Both Husqvarna and my dealership in Oslo has been... Uh, brilliant in this they have helped me all the way but uh, the problem isn't solved so uh, <laughs> i gotta drop off the bike again and this is the i think it's the fourth time i'm uh, dropping the bike off in oslo so uh, i'm getting a little bit tired of this but uh, yeah all good things has to come to an end so <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm, i trust they will get this sorted but uh, it means I have to take another day of work to drop off the bike. But uh, that's how it is. So uh, hopefully it will fix this before winter hits and uh, I will have a bike that works 100% next season. Other than that, there's some change. Yeah, I got some new gear. I bought myself the Revit Dirt Series. And uh, I've, this is so light, <laughs> this is so light, this is a game changer for me. And uh, my brother has this uh, same rivet suit, and, uh, but uh, we can have the same things because we are twins, so we are allowed. But uh, this is a real game changer. A little more underlayer, but uh, that's not a problem. It's light as hell, much lighter than my my previous uh, riding gear. And uh, I think I'm gonna be real happy with this. And as you can see, we're at an end of a gravel road. Uh, I thought about going up the Kolovd again, but uh, before you get up the Kolovd, you can take a uh, road to the to the left, a toll road, and I'm on that road now. And it's a stonker of a gravel road. Not that far, but uh, a lot of fun. Uh, I just rode in here and it was uh, a lot of puddles, slippers uh, some places because there's been a lot of rain in Norway for the last couple of weeks. But I uh, thought I'm gonna take you with me out again. I'm just gonna have some chocolate, some coffee, relax here in the sun because when I went rode off from home today it was five degrees so uh, now it's uh, 12 I think so uh, <laughs> hopefully it will get a little warmer so coffee, chocolate then we're heading out again. This road is really good. It's a little, like I said, it's a little slippery in some places after all the rain, and uh, there are some big puddles. But uh, it's a really good gravel road.
Give us a like, subscribe to my channel, and ding the bell. Down in the rut here. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lost the back end there. Really lost the back end. Although I didn't get a puncture there. I think there's some big poles down here too. <laughs> Whoa, very loose some places. This wakes you up in the morning. is a little bit more washed out than it been earlier this year because of the heavy rain it is slippery <laughs> Great. We got some puddles. Oh, I'm committed now. Whoa, shit. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. to avoid the biggest ones. <laughs> oh, down in the rut again.
I will give you the name of this road as soon as I get to where we pay toll. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Come on, Morton! Yeah, what a ride! Whew. I really enjoyed that part. <laughs> I took it a little bit easy in and I just gave the beans out again and oh, had a few moments there. <laughs> had a few moments. So we're coming to an end to today's vid. Um, I'll also tell you that I got a huge backlog of videos now. So got a couple of pet trips coming up, some day rides and everything. So mostly off-road. And uh, I gotta take this bike to the dealership next week, so uh, not much riding left, so I hope they really fix it this time. I will uh, give you an update on this when I pick it up again. But uh, yeah, that's it for today's vids. Be sure to watch out for future vids coming out every 14 days until spring again. And uh, But hopefully we have some more rides left, because look at the weather we're having right now and let's hope it stays like this for three four more weeks so yeah if you like today's video give it a like if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and ding the notification bell my name is Thomas simple guy on two wheels see you next time people bye shit my new riding gear is full of mud <laughs> see ya